let's have a look at part three of this question. So suppose that the government liberalizes again the price of the panels, but to stimulate the use of the panels, he gives uh, the, the consumers a subsidy. A subsidy is the opposite of a tax, and that's going to be 10 euros per panel bought, meaning that for every panel that the consumer wants to buy, the government is still giving him 10 euros with the hope that he's going to buy even more. Now, what is the cost of the subsidy to the government? So first of all, let's understand the intuition. What does it mean to give a subsidy to consumers? Because it gives a subsidy to consumers, that means that the consumers can buy more because they have more money, meaning that the willingness to pay is increasing. They are willing to pay more because they have more money. Hope this makes sense. But what is the willingness to pay? The willingness to pay shows us the demand of the consumers. So meaning that the demand increases. In other words, the demand is going to increase. The demand is going to increase by 10 euros. So if we have the price of the demanders, of the consumers, that's going to go up by 10 euros. The willingness to pay the intercept on the price function is going to go up by 10 euros. So for that, let's first calculate the price of the demand side and increase it by 10 euros. Let's see what that happens to the market. Uh, so if quantity demanded is equal to 200 minus 2 times the price and we want to know the price of the demand, let's take the price on one side and the quantity on the other side. We would have that 2p is equal to 200 minus the quantity demanded. The price of the demand side is going to be equal to 200 minus the quantity demanded divided by 2. And if we work out the math over here, 200 by 2 is equal to 100 minus 1 over 2 times the quantity demanded. That's the regular price. Now the price after the subsidy, the price after the subsidy, let's note it PS over here, PS increases by 10 euros. So that means that the price after the subsidy is going to be 100 minus 1 over 2 quantity demanded plus 10 plus this increase plus the subsidy that the government gives to the consumers. So if we work out the math now, we will have a new price function, which is equal to 110 minus 1 over 2 times the quantity demanded. Now with this new price function of the demand, we must work it out with the supply price so that we can see what's happening in the equilibrium. This is the quantity supplied. If we write it in terms of the price, so let's work out that as well. If we work out this one, I shall work it out here below because there's no space. I'm actually going to also zoom out to get some more space. So like that. Um, yes, let's do it over here. Let's do it over here. The quantity supplied equals to 50 plus the price. Now, if you want to have the price of the supply side, we will have price equals to quantity uh, supplied minus 50. So there we go. We have the price of the supply side. We have the price of the demand side. We can make them equal. Let's take them together over here. The price of the demand side is 110 minus 1 over 2 times quantity demanded must equal to the price of the supply side, which is quantity supplied minus 50. Let's take the quantities on one side and the numbers on the other side so we can find out the equilibrium. Uh, so that's going to be 110 plus 50 because we take this one to the other side. 110 plus 50 is equal to the quantity over here. And then we take minus 1 over 2 quantity to the other side. It becomes positive. So it's going to be plus 1 over 2 times the quantity. Uh, if we work out the math, that's going to be 160 equals to quantity plus a half of a quantity. It's 1.5 times the quantity. Now, if we solve the math, if we solve the math over here, the quantity in equilibrium, the quantity in equilibrium, where's my calculator? I'm going to do it real quick uh, over here. So 160 divided by 1.5, that's equal to 106.67. The quantity in equilibrium is 160 divided by 1.5, that's 106.67. That's how much is going to be sold on the market. And at what price? Well, we can substitute in either of the prices because it's going to be the same. And we have here the price of the supply function. So if we substitute the quantity over there, the price in equilibrium with the subsidy, the price in equilibrium with the subsidy is going to be 106.67 minus 50 and that's equal to that's equal to 56.67 euros so that's going to be the equilibrium price with the subsidy and that's going to be the equilibrium quantity and that was it with question three in the next video we're going to work out on question four